as predicted, Normani's album flopped. Her comeback could have been her being independent like Tanache, but she's still signed to that shitty ass label RCA. A lot of Normani fans didn't even hear about her dropping the album, therefore that's why the album flopped. Like I wish Normani collected emails or something just to direct market her fans to her album because we've been waiting for like 6 years for an album. You got 7 million followers on IG but only 10% saw that you're dropping an album. The math ain't mething up, but if you are marketing like this, it shows she still wants to be mainstream, wants to gain new fans, as some of her fans did abandon her, but she's out here being petty with her fucking cake. But anyway, I need to say this. Normani is a Gemini, but she's not Gemini. Like, she's too sweet to be a Gemini. Like, what? Like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. There are only two reasons why Normani's album, Dopamine, flopped. Number one, lack of promotion. I'm not saying that she did not promote it. She did, but she didn't do it enough. Like, she announced her album on the 21st of February, then had snippets of Candy Paint and 159. She dropped some photos, visuals, then a visual video of music videos compiled together. A dopamine trailer which I like to call, which is called Dose of Dopamine. Then she went missing again. Then posted on the 26th of April. Like what? She's not creating content. Like in this day and age, you have to make content, grind it up if you want your album to succeed commercially. But the fact that her, her label or her team ain't putting an effort on promoting this album is just messed up. But wait, I just had an epiphany. If I was a label and I signed an artist, but all the artist wants to do is to make music and don't want to make content, you think I'd waste my money on promoting this artist because she's lazy? No! If I were part of her marketing team and I tell her to make content to market her fans as she owns her social media accounts and she's like, no, nah, it's all about the music, I'd also be lazy as a member of a part of your team. If the artist is lazy on her own shit, why bother putting an effort if the brand or the product isn't? It's not my project, I still get paid, but I don't know. This is just my thought. Not to mention, there's no music video yet even now even a week after her album dropped Bruh. this rollout is something else yo not even for her for your lead single you don't have a music video we know that normani is a visual artist you are known for your amazing music videos and you want to tell me you didn't even drop at least one one music video for your album not even for your lead single like dude yes i've seen articles platforms interviews but it's so little i'm thinking at least go to kaisenet or something promote your song candy paint to jimmy fallon show or something but no she's just quiet and she's still not active on social media like <laughs> Okay, I get it that your first week is not the best, like 12k copies sold. There are some albums that flop the first week, but just because the artist or the team puts work into that project, they promote it well, they do this and that, it can actually sell at least 500k in a month. Like, first week does not mean nothing, but she's not doing anything, so she basically, this is just a shut up album. But anyway, the second reason is, obviously waiting six years for an album like yes i was patient enough to wait but this is the wrong time to release when it comes to sales and hype i wish normani didn't announce she was dropping an album in 2018 because it backfired she lost trust from many of her fans especially with no communication from her team about what's happening allegedly it's the label she didn't say it, nothing the only person that confirmed it years ago or something I, it was when chloe bailey was doing her rollout or before she was about to drop an album officially she did say it in an interview I, this album in my opinion was not worth the wait but i'm happy she finally dropped the damn album though 
when I say the timing is wrong, it's this album. This album would have been perfect if she dropped it in 2018 or right after her song Motivation because she was at her peak or at least she was gaining momentum. It's also the wrong timing because this year a lot of artists are dropping albums left and right. Imagine you debut as a new artist. You got too much competition and your sound is not that unique. It isn't. She could have dropped single after single after single to regain the hype before she went MIA. Go on a press tour apologizing to her fans. She still owes, owes us an apology, but anyway, you know, do a press tour on apologizing to your fans about the delay. Be featured on other people's songs showcasing her vocal abilities doing anything to show that hey normani is back but instead with no sign of coming back and therefore a lot of people didn't know that normani is dropping but she was like boom my album is coming out this year here's the website here's some snippets here's some visuals but anyway it is what it is so my thoughts on the album and rollout the album isn't bad at all people like to judge after listening just once that's not how you consume you have to eat something many times before telling yourself that you like it or not. Just like how you need to hear or see an advertisement 77 times before you acknowledge its existence in the social media era. Anyway, the album proves that Normani is definitely an album girl. It's very diverse. It is pure dopamine. Now, I wish Candy Paint and 159 were not picked as a lead in a rollout single. There's plenty of good songs. That can be a single and a rollout, although I understand why they chose a Ghana feature. For Candy Paint, I wish the rollout single was Big Boy or Still or Take My Time. I don't know. Let me know what you all think. Now, here are my ratings. My favorite songs are Big Boy, Insomnia, Lights On, Take My Time, Tantrums with James Blake. I really think, yeah. Still, Wild Side, well, Wild Side, I still play it to this day before she even dropped this album, so. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. My least favorites are Distance. I felt like it was a filler song, though I never skip it. Candy Pain is only perfect for TikTok challenges, just like Nasty by Tanache. She has plenty of amazing songs, yet the audience chose Nasty to go viral, like what the f- Anywho, all yours. <laughs> I don't want to say this because I don't want y'all to hate me because I know that I'll sound shallow, but the mm ah mm ah turned me off. <laughs> it turned me off, but I still don't skip it. Grip, same reason. I thought tiki tiki ah 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 ah. No, no, no. I know that's her style, but repeating the repeating of a word turned me off. Guys, I'm being unserious right now, but it's a grower though. Yeah. Plus, um, when I check the stats on Spotify, they listen to Grip um, more than any other song. So, it could have been the lead single. But anyway, Little Secrets. I love the beat, the melody, just the lyrical content. Maybe I'm being reintroduced to Normani as she is cocky in her songs now. Like... She could have talked about a lot of things other than sex. Like, that's what I was getting from the start to the finish line of this album. Like, she was talking about the same thing. And I'm like, I don't know. For I don't, Usually, I don't complain about artists releasing songs about sex. Like, come on. Like, I, I listen to Nicki Minaj. But after that water song, man. Hey, mm -mm, something in me just changed. And I'm like, nah, man. Mm -mm, I need something more than sex like to be honest overall it's a solid 7 out of 10 i love the vocal production style i love the vocal effects they used especially on big boy lights on tantrums my honest opinion the replay value of this album has been increasing every single day i keep coming back to it it flopped commercially but it's a hit in my house. It's a hit in this house. I understand why they are not selling CDs or vinyls. I wish there was merch though. Maybe there is, I don't know. But when I check her website, there's nothing. But congratulations to Normani. You released an album you are proud of. Now that we got the damn album. Where are the damn visuals? We need the damn visuals. Normani is going to make us beg for a concert. 
like y'all like for real but anyway i can't wait to see how this project goes i hope to see more performances from her the visuals and a tour this video is almost done so don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't let's conversate and debate and i'll see you in the next one and just like that we out